Good day, everyone. I am Earl Michael Estranza with my co-researcher J.M. Tamayo and Jen Clifford Maranga. We are here to discuss our quantitative research entitled Comparative Study on the Effectiveness of Eggshell and Banana Peel in Growing Vegetable Plants as a Fertilizer. According to the Bureau of Agricultural Statistics, the Philippines produce 4.24 million metric tons of chicken and duck eggs and 9.16 million metric tons of bananas in 2011. As shown in the data, a significant amount of rubbish is generated when banana peels and eggshells are ineffective and discarded. Even though they are considered waste, several studies have shown that eggshells and banana peels are helpful in a variety of ways. As a result, we discovered a solution that would not only minimize the amount of eggshell and banana peel around the globe, but also benefit our environment. We picked this study because it would benefit everyone, especially those who like gardening as a pastime. Aside from that, the materials utilized were not pricey and you may also have this at home. It is one approach to ending boredom amid this pandemic while also helping our environment. This research will pave the way for more studies and solutions to the rising problem of trust, such as eggshells and banana peels. Good day. We were discussing the purpose of the study, statement of the problem, experiment procedure, data presentation, conclusion, and recommendation. The purpose of this study is to know if the eggshell and banana peel fertilizer does work in the length of the plants and also to know if there is significant difference between eggshell and banana peel fertilizer for plant growth. Moving down to our statement of the problem, specifically the researchers seek to answer the following questions. Question number one, how does the eggshell work in the length of the plants such as tomato, pechay, lettuce? Number two, how does the banana peel work in the length of the plants like tomato, pechay, lettuce? In number 3, how does the non-fertilizer soil work in the length of the plants such as tomato, pechay, and lettuce? And lastly, for question number 4, is there significant difference between eggshell and banana fill as a fertilizer for plant growth? Sets of the study In set A, tomato seed with 2 pieces of eggshell In set B, pechay seed with 2 pieces of eggshell In set C, lettuce seed with two pieces of eggshell in set D tomato seed with two pieces of banana peel in set E pechay seed with two pieces of banana peel in set F lettuce seed with two pieces of banana peel in set G tomato seed with non-fertilized soil in set H pechay seed with non-fertilized soil in set I lettuce seed with non-fertilized soil now, let us proceed to the experiment procedure. As you can see, there are four procedures that we did in our research. In the first picture, we crushed and cut the eggshells and banana peels that we found in the kitchen into granular form to make fertilizer. Next, in the second picture, we put the gardening soil in their corresponding pots where we will plant our seeds. After that, in the third picture, we've now placed and distributed evenly the granular form of eggshells and banana peels into their corresponding pots. And lastly, in the fourth picture, we put another layer of gardening soil and place the seeds on top of it. We researchers make sure to water it daily in the morning and expose it to the sunlight and observe the growth every weekend. And that's it for the experiment procedure. The next part is data presentation. Research question number one. Length of vegetable plants using an eggshell as fertilizer. Table one. Measurement of the vegetable plants 
with an eggshell as a fertilizer after 5 weeks. Table 1 shows the length of the vegetable plants that are fertilized by an eggshell. The data shows the growth of the plants during the 5-week duration. The length of the vegetable plants was expressed in the unit of a centimeter. Set A contains tomato seeds with two pieces of eggshell. Meanwhile, set B contains pechai seed with two pieces of eggshell. And set C contains lettuce seeds with two pieces of eggshell. In the last row, the average length of the plants was computed by using the formula of the mean of ungrouped data, which is mean is equal to the summation of x over n. Research question number two. Length of vegetable plants using a banana peel as a fertilizer. Table two. Measurement of the vegetable plants with a banana peel as a fertilizer after five weeks. Table two indicates the length of the vegetable plants when using the banana peel as a fertilizer. The data reveals the growth of the plants after they were planted for five weeks. Set B. Set E and set F are the three setups used in the table to answer the research question number two. Set D includes tomato seeds with two pieces of banana peel. Meanwhile, set E contains pechai seed with two banana peels. Lastly, set F contains lettuce seed and two pieces of banana peel. The researcher also used the formula of mean of ungrouped data to solve the average height of the plants which is indicated in the last row of the table. Research question number three. Length of vegetable plants in a non-fertilized soil. Table three. Measurement of vegetable plants in a non-fertilized soil after five weeks. The length of the vegetables in non-fertilized soil is shown in table three. The data shows how the plants grew after being planted for five weeks. The three sets ups used in the table to answer research question number three are set G, set H, and set I. Tomato plant in non-fertilized soil is in set G. Set H, which includes pechai seed in a non-fertilized soil, and set I is where the lettuce plants in a non-fertilized soil is planted. The average length of each vegetable plant is calculated in the table's final row by using the formula mean is equal to the summation of x all over by n. Research question number 4. Significant difference between eggshell and banana peel as fertilizer for plant growth. Table 4. Tomato plant data with eggshell, banana peel, and non-fertilized soil. Table 4 reveals the overall data of the tomato plant with eggshell, banana peel, and non-fertilized soil from week 1 to week 5. The table included the mean, the sum of all heights in the experiment, the quantity of treatment conditions, the total measurement of heights, the number of heights in each treatment, and the total for each treatment condition. In the last row, the sum of squares in each treatment is computed Using the formula sum of squares is equal to the summation of x squared for that group minus the summation of x quantity squared divided by n. Table 5 ANOVA table of tomato plant data with eggshell, banana peel, and non-fertilized soil. Table 5 reveals the ANOVA test or F test result on the data of the tomato plant. Based on the table, the computed F statistic value is 1.91 and the F critical value is 3.89. This data indicates that F statistic value is less than the F critical value. Hence, the null hypothesis must be retained and reject the alternate hypothesis. This means that using eggshell and banana peel as fertilizers has no significant effects on the growth of tomato plants. The researchers included the computed sum of squares, the degree of freedom, and the mean square within groups B1 
based on the data in Table 4. Table 6, Peche plant data with eggshell, banana peel, and non-fertilized soil. Table 6 reveals the overall data of the Peche plant with the eggshell, banana peel, and non-fertilized soil from week 1 to week 5. The table included the mean, the sum of all heights in the experiment, the number of treatment conditions, the total number of heights, the number of heights in each treatment, and the total for each treatment condition. In the last row, the sum of square in each treatment is computed using formula sum of squares is equal to the summation of y squared for the group minus the summation of y quantity squared divided by n. Table 7, ANOVA table of PHA plant data with eggshell, banana peel, and non-fertilized soil. Table 7 displays the ANOVA test or F-test results for the PHA plant data. The computed f statistic value is 2.83 and the F-critical value is 3.89 based on the table. Because F-statistic value is less than F-critical value, the null hypothesis must be retained and the alternate hypothesis rejected. This means that using eggshell and banana peels as fertilizer has no effect on fetchy plant growth. Based on the data in the table 6, the researcher included the computed sum of squares degree of freedom and mean square within group. Table 8 lettuce plant data with eggshell, banana peel, and non-fertilized soil. From week 1 to week 5, Table 8 shows the overall statistics of pechai plant using eggshell, banana peel, and non-fertilized soil. The mean, the total number of heights in the experiment, the number of treatment conditions, the total number of heights, the number of heights of each treatment, the total for each treatment condition were all included that table. The total square in each treatment is calculated in the last row using the formula sum of square is equal to the summation of C squared for the group minus the summation of C quantity squared divided by N. Table 9. ANOVA table of lettuce plant data with eggshell, banana peel, and non-fertilized soil. Table 9 shows the result of ANOVA test or F test for the lettuce plant data. Based on the table, the, the calculated F statistics value is 0 0.46 and the F critical value is 3.89. The null hypothesis must be kept and the alternate hypothesis must be rejected. Since the F statistic value is smaller than the F critical value, this indicates that fertilizing lettuce plants with eggshell and banana peels has no significant effects on their growth. The researchers included the computed sum of the square degrees of freedom and mean square among groups are based on the data in Table 8. Conclusion Our environment has been enabled to achieve full sustainability due to the growing problem with garbage, particularly organic waste. And waste management is still uncontrollable at this time, resulting in a more serious problem. But because in our experiment and test, we are used to come out with an accurate result for comparative study on effectiveness of eggshell and banana field as a fertilizer in growing vegetable plants. The results obtained can be used as a part of plant's growth information. Furthermore, when using eggshell and banana field fertilizer as well as when no fertilizer is applied to the soil, there is no significant difference in the plant's growth. Although there is no significant difference in the plant growth, the concept of eggshell as fertilizer proven to be more successful and effective result when compared to the banana fuel and non-fertilized soil. There are two researches that support the result we gathered. The first one is the research done by Ashiwara and Shindi, 2018 entitled Banana Field Duckweed and Eggshell Cheap Sources of Organic Fertilizer. It was stated that, interestingly, organic fertilizer prepared from this ingredient gave excellent results in the wheat crop. Wheat crops supplemented with organic fertilizer in the pot grow very rapidly and there is increment in agromatic parameters bees. Seedling emergence, the emergence of the two leaf stage, tillering, advanced tillering, jointing, flag leaf emergence, flag leaf fully emergence, boot stage, and head emergence as compared to the wheat crop non-supplemented with the organic fertilizer. Another research that support the result that we gathered was done by Hasrin et al. 2020. In the research entitled Application of Eggshell, the researcher stated that 
Chicken eggshells can be utilized as fertilizer, which is important for the plant to grow healthy into a bigger tree and produce various types of fruits for humankind. A good fertilizer contains nutrients such as calcium, which play an important in the plant's growth. These two studies greatly support the result we gathered. And of course, for our recommendations, due to the pandemic, we were unable to conduct lab tests so we conducted the experiments at home. We recommend that future researchers conduct a separate lab test to determine not only the plant's height but also their weight, root diameter, leaf color, and the other factors affecting their growth. Again, this is Earl Michael Estranza with my co-researchers Jay and Tamayo and John Clifford Maranga. Thank you for listening.